And the state and city officials closely monitoring that ongoing Mount Loa volcano eruption as things can change quickly. KITV4's Ali Duclo joined us live tonight along Mama Lahoa Highway. And uh -oh, what can you tell us? You've been there all day. Well, Mika, not too many are worried about the situation as is right now. And like you mentioned, we are just off Mamalahoa Highway, Mauna Loa directly behind us. Now you can see off into the distance, there is a little light there. It appears to be the eruption, not like that very dramatic video and pictures we've been seeing on social media though. But again, not too many worried about this current situation. We went to one of the American Red Cross evacuation shelters and there were very few people there. Among them, the Ohana Kamoku. They're a family of seven and they recently moved to an area that's called First the Lava Flow. Now we'll cut to some pictures of what they saw just last night. You can see a very bright fiery, fiery glow. The father, Mark Kamoku, tells me the glow appeared to be about two football fields away from his home. Even though there was no mandatory evacuation order at this time, the Kamokus decided to leave their three-bedroom home early because they didn't want to risk it. Here's Kamoku. Something I've never imagined waking up to. Um, yeah, she, um, so she panicked. I, um, you know, first thing comes to my mind is assess the situation real quick, and I just started telling them, you know, let's let's start packing some clothes and getting our things together. I mean, personal things that are important. Again, that was Mark Kamoku. He and his family of seven went to the old Kona Airport State Recreation Area Shelter. That facility has about 80 cots right now. There is another Red Cross shelter open at the Ka'u District Gym Multipurpose Room where there are about 30 cots. A Red Cross staff member tells me they're playing it by ear to decide whether they, should, whether they will provide food at these shelters. As we've been reporting all day, no mandatory evacuation order at this time, but officials are urging residents to stay prepared just in case anything changes. And of course, we'll be here on the Big Island today and tomorrow to bring you the very latest. So for now, reporting live from Kona, I'm Ali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.